All right, I'm about to go in and watch Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, I think it's called. It is the fifth movie in what they are calling the MonsterVerse. Uh, I have never seen any of these movies until this week. Uh, I'm not a big monster movie person, but knowing that I was going to be watching this and reviewing this, I started watching on Monday. Uh, so I've seen, you know, all of them, uh, Kong, Skull Island, and the two Godzilla movies, and Godzilla vs. Kong. Godzilla vs. Kong so far is my favorite, hands down. I'm not sure that this will top that for me. Again, I'm not a big monster movie guy, but uh, we're going to see what happens here. Stay tuned. Alright, um, I'm back from Godzilla x Kong, the new empire. Um, listen, so I said going in, these aren't really my movies. I mean, I think people that enjoy these movies will like them. I did have a solid time with this. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. Um, I think out of all five of them is probably my least favorite. Um, but there's still some good, there's still some good here. There's still some good stuff about this. The visuals are great as always. Um, Brian Tyree Henry was probably the best part for me. Um, that and I really liked that they brought Kong to the forefront. This was more Kong's movie. Um, Godzilla basically was a cameo. Spoiler, mild, mild spoilers. Um, this was this was definitely this, this should have been called uh, Kong: The New Empire. Um, the third act was fun to watch. I thought, you know, Adam Wingard did a good job directing this. Um, the fights were nowhere near as good as they were in Godzilla vs. Kong, um, but it was still a lot of fun to watch. So the pacing and the first two acts were not so great and really took a while to get started. Um, I also was missing a lot of the cast from the other movies that they didn't bring back. back uh, Millie Bobby Brown, Kyle Chandler, Alexander Skarsgård, um, as far as, uh, you know, the dialogue felt really corny and cheap at times. Uh, the jokes didn't really land. The writing overall was okay at best, but it could have been, could have been way better. Um, the, the villain, the Scar King was probably like the weakest out of the whole franchise so far. Um. I don't know a lot a lot man uh rebecca rebecca hall has done a lot of good work a lot of good movies this was just not one of them for me um dan stevens was fine didn't really care for his character too much though um basically if you're a fan of the monster verse these these monster movies i think you'll enjoy this um if 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 you love it great um for me, I just, it's just not for me. I don't, I don't want to say I got bored with it, but it just, that it just wasn't, wasn't my thing. I, I can say I've seen them now. I've watched them all, but it's like a one-time thing. 